everyone, this is Trishta Doherty at the annual May 3 Gala in Northern California. May 3 is a nonprofit organization which empowers women in need. The mission of May 3 is helping women help themselves. What would you say is the history and the goal of May 3? Uh, history of May 3 started about 21 years ago and it started in a very small scale like anything else when you're doing with an objective of really helping out women from South Asia. What we were doing all these years was doing crisis management. 20 years back we figured that there was a gap in what mainstream provided for women suffering from domestic violence. Uh, there were special cultural issues that South Asians faced which the mainstream did not. And so we, we decided to band together and start something that would specifically focus on South Asian uh, women's issues. And all of our programs that started since that time have been specifically focused towards getting South Asian men, women and children empowered to live fulfilling lives in the U.S. here. This fundraiser in particular is focusing on child care, whereas some of your past fundraisers have focused on different things. Can you tell us of the importance of child care in the clients and the women who you help? So in this particular year, one of the challenges we find with women, in particular single parents, who are single parents, is um, the lack of uh, available childcare. And why is this uh, childcare not available to them is a couple of reasons. One, a lot of immigrant women may not know where to get resources. And second of all, in the US, there is no such government-aided programs. Child care is so important because 50% of the women that we serve, they come with uh, a child or two. So children are uh, the most affected in a, in a family environment where they, uh, they, they, tend to, uh, they tend to not know, they can't help themselves, they don't know how to. Uh, react to stress situations. So this fundraiser in particular, the fund and need part is focused on childcare. Can you also tell us about where Maitri plans to go in the future? Maitri has to evolve. It has to evolve for two reasons. One is uh, our community is evolving. Our younger generation who is growing up in this country, their needs are different. The second reason the Maitri has to evolve is we have to move from being an agency which serves uh, women in, the, in crisis to prevention of domestic uh, crisis. Can you please tell us a little bit about your involvement with Maitri and the council that you have started? Yeah, um, the, the Indian Consulate works with uh, reputed NGOs in the in our area of our jurisdiction to uh, provide relief to the Indian women who uh, are uh, you know deserted by their overseas spouse, and therefore uh, organization like Maitri who are doing a commendable job in this area. So we partner with them and other like-minded NGOs and try to reach out to the Indian women who are facing legal challenges in the Bay Area. About the volunteers, I mean they have their own careers, their own lives, yet they still find the time to come out and help and give back to their community. Can you tell us about some of their training and the jobs that they do as you are your, yourself a volunteer? You know, I think um, working and or volunteering for a cause like Maitri which deals with domestic violence, sexual abuse, uh, trafficking, cultural alienation, it's not an easy cause. I think that um, you have to feel a commitment um, to the cause and then you have to feel that it fulfills a purpose in your life. For me personally, um, I work in high tech, I've had a career always in high tech, but the work I do at Maitri um, gives me this purpose where I feel that um, I'm making a difference in the world. I'm here with Debra, who's helping run the silent auction table for tonight's gala. We have some amazing items tonight. In fact, uh, the item right here is a, it's a dinner for 10, uh, Priyanka's Kitchen. They will come to your home and cook this amazing meal so you don't have to do anything. I think that's one of the best items that I would like. Ballroom dancing lessons, so in case you've ever wanted to learn how to uh, ballroom, now is your opportunity. Um, and this lady was actually uh, one of the winners on uh, Dancing with the Stars. Ooh, no. Music is life. Uh, I don't think I can stay without music for even um, one day. I can maybe stay without food, but not uh, music. 
I don't sing latest Hindi uh, film songs, you know. My fo my forte is ghazal and uh, more uh, light classical. I've come all the way from India to do this, you know. So, and I I hope you all enjoy. After marriage. There was a sabbatical. I had to give up music for almost 10 years. There was no pressure from my family or anything of that sort. It's just that my own priorities changed. Once I got married and had, I had two children. I have two girls, mashallah, now they're 21 and 16. And I thought, Radhika, before it gets too late, you better wake up and start doing it again. That's when I spoke to my Guruji, Shantiji, and I told her that I want to start um, learning again. Thanks for joining me at this gala to check out this very noble cause. May 3 grows in strengths and bounds year after year. This is Trisha Doherty. Enjoy the rest of the show.